Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Y'all, I know that this setup is jank, but you know, I'm in the process of moving. Just got here. I have no internet. I have no lights. I have no camera. I have no furniture. I have nothing. I have nothing like Whitney Houston. I got a dozen roses. That's all I got in that mirror. That's all I got. A dollar and a dream. A dollar and a dream. Literally a dollar. So if you want to go ahead and donate, uh, Cash App is down below. Because, baby, I need it. I don't even have silverware. I wanted to cook, but I'm like, damn, I don't even got silverware. I ain't got no pot. I ain't got no pants. Literally, I have no pots to piss in. <laughs> um... Okay, so anyway, so welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I want to go ahead and give you guys an update on Real Housewives of Atlanta, more specifically Drew Sedora. Now, it came out a few days ago that Drew Sedora uh, is still living with Ralph Pittman. I told y'all that like two, three months ago, right? Ralph was on to the Instagram. He was grilling and I could have sworn that I saw Drew Sedora's mom in the background and they was at the house and I was asking like, oh, okay, well, you know, do they live together? They must live together because he's walking around that house like it's his, seeming as though he had his pecs and his biceps out. Okay, Ralph Pittman is always naked. I don't know who he trying to be seen by, but he's trying to be seen by somebody. Maybe it's the women down there in Tampa. Okay, somebody let me know in the comments down below. Listen, but apparently he is living in the basement and this could be, you know... There could be a number of things as to why he's uh, living in the basement. One, financial reasons. I mean, a lot of the times when you are breaking up or getting a divorce, it's not so easy just to be like, okay, let me go rent a place or let me go buy a house or let me go do this, that, and a third. It's not that easy. Times is hard for some people. And why do I kind of feel like Ralph Pittman's income is dependent on Drew's housewife income? Why do I kind of feel like that? Why do I kind of feel like this is a Cynthia and Peter situation. Why do I kind of feel like Drew Sedora gives her check to Mr. Ralph Pittman, okay, Mr. Tampa, and then he takes her money and then flips it or invests, he invests it, and then that's his income for the household. He's a flipper. He's a flip flopper. Okay. Listen, a very interesting situation. Um, so yeah, I'm like, okay, so he's living in the house and whatnot. So it could be a financial thing. It could be a thing of maybe his uh, lawyer advised him not to leave the home. Y'all let me know if you're into the law. I don't really know a lot about the law, but like I've heard that if you leave the marital home, then it could be seen by the court that you have vacated the premises and you gave it up in the sense that you would want to possibly like fight for the home, fight for the ownership of the home. Listen, I don't know who owns the home. I don't know whose name is on the deed. I don't know what their prenup. I don't know what their situation is, but I mean, I'm just giving scenarios to the situation. Um, and then you also have a situation where maybe he just wants to be under the same roof as his children, right? Maybe it's just easier for Drusadora to live in the master suite or the owner's suite and then you have Ralph Pittman living in the basement, living in the underlayer, living below ground. Okay. And then the two meet when it's time to take care of the children. So maybe it's a situation like that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. But listen, I've been hearing that Drew Sedora's, uh divorce is uh, pretty nasty. That it's, you know, beginning to be very tough. She's going through a very tough divorce. But y'all, not only is she beefing with her husband, Ralph Pittman, her soon-to-be ex-husband, but y'all know that she's beefing with Portia because Drew Sedora decided to work with Dennis McKinley, who is Portia's ex fiance and baby dad's, the father to Pilar Janae. Drew Sedora, why would you do that? Drew Sedora, why would you do that? Y'all, I recently met Drew Sedora, and she was like, <laughs> I love her. First off, she was so sweet, so nice, super pretty um you know great energy um but she told me one week you be loving me and the next week you be hating me listen drew i'm not trying to hate you i would never hate on you i don't hate you sis i don't hate you um 
But why would you work with Dennis McKinley? We're all confused. I mean, we live in Atlanta. There's a million music producers. There's a million marijuana dealers. There's a million hairstylists, a million braiders, a million weavologists, a million caterers, chefs, a million of them. And they're all black, okay? That's just how Atlanta is. There's a billion of everybody in every industry. Atlanta is a really big music scene. Out of everybody in Atlanta, why did you want to work with Dennis McKinley, the baby dads, the baby father? Okay. But y'all, not only is she beefing with Ralph Pittman, not only is she beefing with Portia Williams, her ex bestie, go naked, but Kelly don't like the girl child, allegedly. Okay. Uh. Mm, mm. Shamia don't like the girl, allegedly, 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 allegedly. Okay. Uh -huh. Kelly, Shamia, Portia, Ralph. I mean, it is Drew Sedora versus everybody. The fashion stylist, the hair stylist, the wardrobe stylist, Bravo production, everybody, child. Drew Sedora is beefing with everybody. It is Drew Sedora versus everybody. And I kind of feel bad for her. I kind of feel bad for her because in all seriousness, I kind of feel like Drew Sedora has never really truly found her footing onto this show. And why do I feel like it's always the entire cast against her child? It's a mess. So listen, um, not going to be an easy year for Drew, but shout out to her. Um, she has a new song out. She has a new song produced by Dennis McKinley Child featuring Big Keys. I got five on it. Okay. This is what it looked like. So go stream, go listen, go buy on iTunes and whatnot um yeah we gotta send drew Sador some positivity because sis is going through it y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great day bye